we are here for the orientation program, which is basically a teacher support program, right? And uh, these these have been made compulsory as part of our promotions, right? So, so in order to get our promotions, we need to do these courses. Otherwise, promotions are denied to people. Orientation program is meant for people from all disciplines, right? So, so in an orientation program, therefore, you would have teachers from different disciplines, from different subject backgrounds coming together and talking about sub general issues that relate to the teaching community or the kind of research or academic work that is happening across disciplines. I was the director of the academic staff college for about eight years. Hmm. Our idea was to provide a national education, you know, in which would be secular. That was critical. It will be secular, it will be scientific, it will be modern and it will be state of the art. Even now, if you go and check a batch, you will find there will be people from Kerala, there will be people from Northeast, there will be people from Kashmir. This was a strategy that we had, that we must have a national participation. We have teachers across the country in this orientation course. I chose this uh, JNU as for my co uh, orientation course because of its history, its legacy of academic excellence. But what I find here is is what you call a very disappointing uh, kind of Sankapari war propaganda mechanism which is being pursued here. But these people try to pro promote your society, there is everything was fine and there is uh, peaceful and there is no social stratification, there is no hierarchies, uh, uh, there is no kind of uh, discrimination, exploitation, name of caste, etc. That is how they try to project without showing any evidences. Um, one of the classes, in one of the classes, I'm a physics teacher, in one of the classes, my, uh, the professor said, the professor who took the class said, um, we cannot sleep in the north-south direction because the magnetic field of earth affects our blood vessels. This is absolutely rubbish. It's, it's against the plus two knowledge of physics. Somebody is saying that the blood cells are affected by the magnetic field of earth. Earth's magnetic field is so minute that it cannot even affect us. Not only that, the, uh, the, ma the, uh, the iron in our blood is in compound form. It cannot be affected by any magnetic field. It's elementary knowledge. See, uh, I think this is not first time, last uh, two, three uh, orientation programs, some of my friends attended and they expressed the same uh, kind of uh, opinion that it is being saffronized and there is a lot of emphasis and the people, Sang Parivar activists coming and giving lectures and no kind of uh, qualified uh, speaker was called and no historians were. Particularly recently there is a referential course on history and there are many people from outside who are not qualified as a historian and they have been called and to give lectures. So I think it's a kind of uh, plan activity to spread the ideology of science. So a lot of people who come from technological sciences or the engineering schools or the management departments are often not aware of the history of social scientific debates and it becomes very easy to then manipulate these brains right, with a certain kind of heightened regressive political rhetoric. Right? And that is what they target doing. Now what happened on the 18th, which was just Thursday, right, which is uh, the second week into the course, the, the courses go on for four weeks and on the last day of the second week which was Thursday right so, so there was this Dean of the social sciences school in um, JNU right so the Dean of triple S right so called uh, professor Pradipta Chaudhary right so who had come in for a lecture he's particularly a puppet of this VC there are some puppets in this university who are who are who are who are who are supporting this vice chancellor again it's just all kind of illegal and undemocratic policies in that and the Pradipta Chaudhary is one of the foremost and forefront teacher in in that uh, in in that in that sphere so that Pradipta Chaudhary was appointed as the Dean of Triple S after having superseded five other senior professors right so there were five other senior professors who were who were in line for the deanship and of course this Pradipta Chaudhary because of his closeness to the current administration and to because of his closeness to the current political dispensation right so was handpicked out of the entire school of social sciences after having illegally superseded five other members. The, the, the one lecture that I spoke about, which is Pradipta Chaudhary's lecture, that was the 29th lecture in that entire program, right? And out of these 29 lectures, at least about 24 to 25 were visibly and explicitly on Sanghi lines. So, so there was this colleague of ours, right? So who in his own way, right, so was was pronouncing the word caste, right, so along his own regional accent. Now this man stopped him and insulted him for his pronunciation and said, spell caste for me.
right? So imagine a teacher asking another teacher, spell the word caste for me. Right? And he says that is not how caste is to be pronounced. So he begins by making these regional comments, regionalist comments, right? So shutting people up, insulting people for their pronunciation, for the way they are speaking. And then when somebody from amongst our, our colleagues again, right, so <clears throat> starts countering what he was saying, right? So because he again began with his own political agenda, he started talking about how caste was an invention of the colonial administration, right? So how caste was a colonial construct and that pre-colonial India had nothing called caste. So naturally, right, so there were people who are academically trained in, in Dalit studies, right, so in questions of caste, and they started saying that we, we raised our hands and we said that this is not true. And one of our colleagues, right, so then raised a point about how this is not historically true, right, so how this is a completely historically misleading information, right, so and at which point, right, so this man retorts to him saying that the problem with you is that you do not even know how to speak the English language. And then he starts talking about Didi Kosambi's book, which everybody knows about. And he says that, have you read Didi Kosambi? Right, so our colleague says that, of course I have. Right, and when he retorts saying that, yes, I have read Didi Kosambi, this man suddenly quips in and in, a, in the most arrogant of fashions, he says that, aap jaise battamiz logo ko to class ke bahar chale jana That's the spirit of democracy. That's the spirit of you democracy. cannot shut people up and call them Bhaktamis. Yeah. We got up and we said that if you don't apologize, then we are not going to listen to you. Either we will, we will leave the class or you leave the class. He walked up to a colleague and he physically assaulted him. Right? And he said that I will snatch your phone. And how are you touching people? What is this arrogance? Complete arrogance. It is this kind of thing which produces morons, you know, it doesn't produce national pride. But they believe that by claiming everything that we did in science, in literature, in uh, every field, you know, we had achieved greatness in the very ancient past. Hmm? You are making very proud Indians. You are making idiots. Because if you were not an idiot, you would ask the question that if you were that great in ancient India, if you could fly planes, you know, if you could do plastic surgery, etc., etc., how come you are nowhere in the world? <laughs> you know, what happened? When did you forget all this? Hmm? And you, the obvious answer, you know, is what? We forgot this because the Muslims came, you know, they made us forget all this. So we have to now start all over again. From the JNMSU, we will, we, will, we will go with a proper plan of action against this dean as well as to make this uh, make this course such a course which is really helping the teachers it is not that we are going to teach there some rss shakha model or 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 there some kind of writing ideology it is there that uh, where there should be a free discussion where uh, there should be a free dialogue that we will support uh, in 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 our near future, in our near future and we will go with a, with, a, with a strong plan of action against each and everything everything what is happening in this university